That's what, and that's what people are doing here. We have a lot of people following their dreams. That's right. Exactly. And that's what I want to help them do. So really, if I meet you on the trade room floor, if you call me any of those things, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to play 20 questions. And it might irritate you a little bit, but what I'm trying to do is figure out how to help you make money. Because that's what we're all trying to do so that we can live our dreams, so that we can stay home a little more maybe, so that or just make a little bit more money to get that house that we're looking for. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, I want to help you get there. So that may mean getting to know you a little bit. Speaking of, Sun yes, Country sir. Trailers is in Phoenix, right? Yes, we are in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, so you're based in yes. Phoenix. Have you, have you been there since the inception, that kind of thing? Um, We have bounced around the Phoenix area for a little while, but now we are on a beautiful seven-acre lot in uh, South Phoenix, and... Uh, I've, I've, like I said, I've been with Sun Country for the last eight years. We've gone from a three-person office and 12-person shop to probably triple that in office size. And I don't even know how many guys we have in the shop anymore. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a big facility. In fact, it, it is. you just made me think, isn't Mannheim Phoenix on the south side? Are you anywhere near that? We are actually right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and you we know, right around the corner. we never even talked about Mannheim Phoenix, did we? It's we, just, we did not, not in any of our conversations. I remember Isn't that funny? it is well, I was, <laughs> when I was dispatched, just, I had a, I just had a visual when I was dispatching. Mm-hmm. I remember, uh, I can kind of picture the area. There's a lot of interstate over there. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. We're right mm-hmm. off the 10, um, which is one of the, you know, main interstates that everybody takes, uh, to get from one side of the country to the other. People pass through us either on their way to California or on their way back from California or Nevada, you know, Utah, whatever. Um, And I usually tell people that when they come to pick up their trailers, not only do they come to visit us and see the facility, get a little tutorial, um, but they can also pick up loads so they can make up some money on the way back home. Yeah, no, so that's actually, so if you're in the Mannheim Phoenix area, Like, let's say you're picking up or dropping off anywhere near there, and you Mm -hmm. want to take a look at a Sun Country trailer, you can stop by, and you're Aliza. Can can you ask for Aliza? Absolutely. Wow. Or even if you don't ask for me, I'm probably the one that's going to walk up there and introduce myself and say, let's go look at some trailers. That's awesome. So I want to ask you guys in the live chat, I mean, isn't this kind of cool? This is the goal of, you know, when I first contacted you guys... I really Mm -hmm. wanted to put you in front of the audience, like of my audience, you know, which is growing and get people to be able to interact with you. It means so much to know who you can contact Mm -hmm. and ask questions. So, in fact, you talked about um, 20 questions. What are some questions you get that people ask you? (laughs) Okay, we'll go to the number two question. (laughs) Okay. All right. Um, we get a lot of questions about how much weight can your trailer handle? Awesome. That, that's a good question. It's a good question, but it's not a fair question. Mm. That's a, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I know it sounds like I'm equivocating, but no. really, I'm not. it really depends on which trailer, what part of it. I mean, that frame is quarter inch tube steel. So there's not a whole lot that can hurt it, but we need to look at whether or not you're hurting your resale, you know, whether or not you are okay with making repairs, depending on what you put on there. And then also, you know, keeping any cylinders for any moving decks safe or whether or not you're okay with taking the chance on bending one and contacting Ben and buying another one. So it all just really depends on your business, on what you're willing to do, on how long you want that trailer to last you, and um, kind of what your business model in what your business model is in a nutshell. Uh, you you probably see some interesting stress fractures and things like that, right, from time to time, or somebody <laughs> just maybe went overboard in the wrong spot. I've seen some things now. My family's in uh, Northern California, 
So I do take um, I do take the ten over and then the five up, and I've seen some interesting things on our trailers on that trip. Mm-hmm. Oh, the kind oh. of things that you kind of cover your eyes and go, I don't know who that is. I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you what? Know when you call, I'm the manufacturer, so I really do have to kind of have that liability talked to. Well, and that, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, that's a part of everything. There's always a, uh, a right. technical and legal side to things. But basically, the, the, the market that you guys cater to the most Mm-hmm. Would it be the three, the four, and the five car setup? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Three, four, five, and any mix in between. Basically, our niche is that versatility of being able to go from carrying box trucks to carrying passenger vehicles and kind of a little bit of both. So, and we've been able to do that with our five car carrier really well. Um, we've done it with for a long time with our four car carrier. And then, of course, sometimes people, they just want to carry three cars or they just want to go back and forth across town from the auction to the dealership. I mean, we've got four auctions that I think of, and I don't know how many used car dealerships just in the Phoenix area. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of hot shotting going around just in our neck of the woods. Well, it seems like, like, well, okay, rather than me, me tell you, you tell me, what are some of the features of your trailers that you find that that kind of dazzle owners? The majority of our clients um, that we've drawn to us over the years have been of the mentality of if it fits, it ships. <laughs> and I think that's the most dazzling thing. Um, but moreover, they're amazed with the kind of loads that they can put on. The fact that um, when we say this, there's this much deck space, there really is. I mean, even just with our wedges and, you know, three car haulers, there's 53 feet of deck space before you even start putting flippers on it. So um, we try to be pretty consistent in what we're telling people you can haul. You know, that's a really good point because I don't know how many times as a dispatcher and, but you know, we're, we're, we're definitely, we're on that last vehicle. And right. so many times you are, you're now, the driver and the dispatcher are looking at each other. Somebody's got to get a calculator out and figure out how much deck space do we have left? Because we're right. definitely going to get into overhang and things like that. Mm-hmm. But without enough deck space, some of those things aren't going to matter. Right. And that also depends on where you're at too. I've, I've learned a lot. I mean, I ask a lot of questions, but that also means that I listen and I've learned a lot from our clients, um, depending on what data state you're in, it depends on whether or not you can have overhang off the back or not, mm-hmm. or hang between your truck and the trailer. Um, so there's a lot of tetracine that goes on, and um, I feel like with that five car hauler, we were able to give a lot of experienced drivers an easier way to tetris. And even newer drivers, an easier way to learn how to Tetris those loads. Um, <laughs> and you're using Tetris as a verb, right? I am. I am. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm showing my age no, when I do that. <laughs> I love. Hey, I know what Tetris is. If anybody out there doesn't know what Tetris is, let us know, or just Google it. You know, whatever. Google but. But, um, but yeah, yeah. Tetris is a the challenging game where you fit blocks and you have to rotate them. Right, it's much like car hauling. In fact, um, right, it, making them fit in the right way in order to. But when, like, I, I, you made me think of a driver I worked with. Sent him to a a well known um, location, and mm-hmm. the broker assured us that. And this is where, you know, you get you kind of hear people get down on brokers and it happens. The broker assured us that we could fit it. We could fit, I think it was like three cargo vans. They weren't small. They weren't the biggest, but they're, you know, I think they were bigger than he let on. And with without enough deck space, it just didn't matter. And so maybe he was talking to somebody with a sun country. It's possible. Maybe. 
because and to be fair sometimes the brokers don't get the accurate information and i know i know you know what and that's part of it too i know so <laughs> you know because i i feel really badly when i have to correct somebody on a weight for a vehicle ah uh, yeah um, I, I don't want to do it, but I don't want you to be stuck somewhere where you can't pick something up or where you break something because it's heavier than you were led to believe. Well, and, all, and really, there's lot, yeah, there's a lot of dry weights being used out there. And as well, and that's the thing is Googling something rather than talking to someone actually there can be a big difference. It's like Dr. Google. <laughs> I mean, you don't really want to Google your symptoms and then go to your doctor and tell him what, <laughs> what it is that you have. You, you, you want to talk to the people that are either doing it every day and have a better idea about it or, you know, maybe get more reference materials. And but yeah, so often all the roads lead back to the shipper and the shippers just sometimes doesn't give all the information. You have a great reputation because you stand behind your customers. We right. we really do try to. I mean, we want to make sure that everybody is moving and making money. Um, we try to cover our warranties as quickly as possible. We will hand out um, strategies to get people in and out of the shop so they're on the road. I mean, if you're not moving, you're not making money. So, and we, we do understand that. We try to help that. Um, as much as we possibly can. I was going to show, let's do oh, this. Gosh. Let's go to, <laughs> all right, so this is where, if you want to learn more about oh, yeah. Sun Country, you go to suncountrytrailers.com. That's a good place to start, right? Definitely start there. All right. And there's there's some good information there, but if you have questions, call us. That's the toll, that's the toll-free number right there, right on the top. You can't miss it. Um, that email address at the very top will get you to me. Okay. You know, give us a call and we'll be happy to talk to you. So if you are, let's see, you got info. I'm just going to say it. Info at suncountrytrailers.com. And you can ask for Aliza. You can talk to anybody there. But, uh, yeah. but you know, that's what, and again, that's one of the reasons you're, I'm, I'm help, I want to help make you guys visible. Mm -hmm. It's not just a great company, but the you are real people. You can ask real questions and talk to. And, oh, absolutely. and and so that's why we're here. So 866-887-2453 is the phone number. And yeah, the only thing yeah. I can't do mm -hmm. is answer one call when I'm on another. Oh, yeah. So if you guys give me a little bit of grace, I will get back to you. <laughs> that's, and that's fair. All right. And so you, if you're looking for a three, four, a three car, four car, or five car, high mm -hmm. quality industrial trailer, then this is this yeah. is where you need to go. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we know we're heavy guys. You know, we know what we build is heavy, but the reason that it's heavy is because of the material that we're using. Just to make sure that you can move those trucks I was hearing about that come out of Texas. That's right. Let me tell you, <laughs> as a dispatcher, I mean, I'm, I'm serious. As a dispatcher, all right, as a yeah. dispatcher, I mean, I'd be looking at the load boards. Mm -hmm. I know. I know, but I'm looking at the load boards and it's all these big giant trucks. Yeah. And, and we're, we're just, we're maxing out. It's killing us. I have, I have a client actually, I have now three clients cause he got two of his buddies, um, to purchase trailers, but, um, in the Midwest, like up in the Michigan area and that's all they move. That's all they move all oh, day yeah. long, every day, six days a week because right. they're crazy um is trucks yeah and that's so the, that's the if good that's all you're moving talk to me i can help you figure out how to move them that's the because that's the good paying stuff in fact there's some uh there are some brokers they don't move anything else that's just vans and trucks all day and they're the ones right. paying good i want to i want to move those oh, loads yeah. you know well the unfortunate part is that you really got to look at what's out there look at that and yeah <laughs> that that's, was fun <laughs> that's a good load and you got your belly cars but mm -hmm. but you know i mean you've got you know you've got you can take some weight on the uh, upper middle deck which mm -hmm. is great and you can and you're not worried about your height on the front 
And then on the back, you can throw your ambulance or your aircraft carrier. I, I, yeah, your aircraft carrier. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody's going to post them. I've seen semis and wreckers back there, yeah. Well, yeah, I just yeah. posted, I had a, yeah, did you see there was a semi on a, uh, on a high mount in the, uh, in the in industry news, I've never seen that. And somebody had a had a sem had a a dry van semi. I I believe it. And I believe it. Yeah. I mean, these got. I've seen what what people pull up in when they come in for parts or repairs. What they have hanging off the flippers. Um, it's 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 amazing. And some of these loads we've done. This one. Yeah, tell me about this one. Gorgeous. Yeah. So this is. driver came in for repair and I was going back to check on a on a client's build. And as I was walking past, I started drooling over the old cars. And mm -hmm. then I had to pull out my phone. And believe it or not, this is an iPhone picture, guys. Wow. That's great. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Um, and just, you know, got got down low a little bit just to get the right angle and uh, got that photo. So this is this is somebody that just before he unloaded, so we could do you know a couple of repairs, um, and I think again it was probably the flippers in the back and some other little thing. It wasn't even a big deal, but um, I thought that this was a really nice photo to show what you can do. And this is professionally loaded. A lot of the pictures that I do end up using are things that we load, and I'll be honest, we don't really know what we're doing. So sometimes some of my more experienced drivers will tell me that we're over height. And you know what? We probably are. In fact, we more than likely are. But we're just trying to show spacing. Well, so when these guys come in loaded, I like to get those photos too. What's cool, exactly. When you've got, you, you know, you've got your product, you guys, your expertise is creating the product. Exactly. And then you've got an expert car hauler. You put those two things together. I know my buddy Don. He was on. He was on the last show, and he used to load. He had a, it wasn't. I think it was the Low Pro, and he okay. loaded it like crazy. I mean, I couldn't believe. I loved. I was making money because he had a Sun Country that he he knew how to load. Man, he knew let how the, to load it. Oh man, and, he, I mean, it was awesome. just if you look at the way that this this driver here loaded this trailer, I mean. The lightest part of the truck on the very first position is on that shotgun ramp in the front. And his heavy part is right over the support for the cylinders. So he's not putting additional weight on there as he's going down the road, right? That's beautiful. It's awesome. perfect. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer couldn't ask for better. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And then if you go down to position number four, that is um, one of our most popular options, which is our drop belly. Mm -hmm. How it just tucks that car there like it's almost not even there. It's amazing. Isn't it? It, it's it really is. It's beautiful. And you Brilliant. know, and you know what, that's what's neat too is that as a dispatcher, I'm looking on the boards and I see, you know, I'll see like a 66 Impala. I'm like, we can't fit that. <laughs> there, I mean, <laughs> there, there, you, yeah, you squeeze it in there. That's and that's what's so great about having all those abilities to mm -hmm. sneak a car in there. And I mean, if you're able to, if you're able to shuffle and you know what you're doing, you can really maximize yeah. that trailer. And honestly, there it's not that hard to learn on these either. You know, nice. after after a few loads, after you get going on it, even if you're first time, well, I won't say first time car hauler, but you know, if you're fairly new to this particular trailer. Um, you know, it might only take you a month before you just look at the vehicles and know exactly where they go. What happens if I just have a one ton? Mm. If you just have a one ton, oh yes, we talked about this. Um, again, we, we know we built heavy. Uh, what we have for the one ton truck yeah, are basically our three car haulers. So our wedge, our drop deck and our low pro if they decide they're just gonna do cabin chassis. Um, that quarter inch wall too makes the trailers really durable. The thing is, it also makes them really heavy. So once we get into anything that's a true four car, you start looking at a lot of weight on the back of your truck. And the last thing we want is for anybody to have 
any kind of issue. Um, so that's where we're at currently. Um, there's always ideas going around. We're always listening to um, what our clients would like, what our potential clients would like, what our dealers would like. So we never know what's gonna be coming down the pipeline, but currently just the way that we manufacture, those are, those are pretty much your three options is those ones that are sitting there under the three car hauler heading. Now, mind you, when we say it's a 53 foot trailer, that's 53 feet of usable deck space before you even look at flip out extensions. So they're, they're, you're, you're not shy with what you can put on there. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for somebody to send me a picture of smart cars on our trailers. Yeah, well, I can probably figure that one out. <laughs> the, uh, so you're saying the reason you can't put a four car behind a one ton is because the one ton doesn't have the ability to really Right, pull it doesn't the have the, the axle weight, the suspension rating, and mm -hmm. uh, really the, the tire and wheel strength. Mm. For there, we get into medium duty trucks. I got you. So what's a medium duty truck? So like your five, six, seven class, your 550, yeah. 650, 750. Okay. Have... Bill says, what do they weigh when you say heavy? Um, the four cars are 12,500 pounds empty. How about the three? That's the, the three cars are about 9,000. Okay. That's about the average. Hmm? Yeah, the five. The fives are what, Brian? Anywhere between sixteen and nineteen ish. Yeah, the single axle five car <clears throat> starts at about fifteen thousand five hundred pounds. A tandem axle five car, uh, loaded pretty well, can get upwards to nineteen thousand pounds. And what do you what what are you recommending as the power unit on that? Just to be specific. Well, <clears throat> on the five. -car, Car. I mean, it has to be a class A truck because uh, it's air ride, air brake capable, uh, and it's it's a standard fifth wheel connection. Um, you know, on a uh, on a on a tandem axle five car, I'd recommend a twin screw, uh, so you can take full advantage of that eighty thousand gross thirty four on the trailer, thirty four on the on the on the, the drives of the truck, as well as the uh, the steers. If you're talking about a single axle five car, those are generally used ma mainly for hot shot uh, type type items, as well as some states like New Jersey allows for a twenty three thousand pounds of of uh, axle credit on a, on a, on the truck uh, drive. <clears throat> so therefore, it gives you some options for for the five car load. But generally, with a single axle five car, that's more of a regional carrier or smaller vehicle carrier, and you can get away with a single axle tractor on that. Right. So does the four car does the four car have the tandem axle and the five car mm -hmm. just has the single axle? Yeah, generally it depends what type of trailer four car it is, but generally our, our most popular four cars are electric brake axles. <clears> so <throat> it would be compat it would be uh, uh, built with either two 10Ks for a 20,000 GVW or two 12K axles for a 24,000 GVW. So uh, it depends how it's spec'd out by the customer, uh, and generally it's. it's Usually it's not the trailer axle that's the problem on the four car, it's the drive of the truck. And that's why Aliza made reference to generally on a four car, we're, we're looking for a 5,500 or better, a one and a half ton. Because if you take like, for instance, uh, uh, a, a one ton Chevy uh, 3,500 HD, I can tell you that the axle load or the GVW on that axle is 9,750 pounds. So uh, there, it doesn't take too much to, to exceed that. Mm -hmm. mm. that's 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 half a car basically when you're doing the math um and i make it easy and say 50 50 because uh, it always depends on where you're putting the vehicles but you can easily be 50 50 on that uh weight distribution so just start out with your 6250 pounds just of the trailer weight alone and then on top of that you know what's your average um Car away, Jay. Oh, eh, four thousand maybe. So you're already over just with one car there. It's a and yeah, and you're gonna have at least two cars worth of weight, if not two and a half. So that's where we get into having issues with taking a curve at speed, 
um, having issues with being overweight at the scales, having issues mm -hmm. with being able to stop at a red light in an emergency situation. Um, so, and we'd rather everybody stay happy, healthy, and making money. Yeah. Well, and one of the things I, I heard you say, Lisa, at the beginning of the conversation was, um, it was after you, the question that everybody asked, what was it, the second question? What yes. was it? What was the second question? The, the, I said, what was the, the, what is, um, I know I'm trying oh, what, to, what, what, what is, yeah, what's the weight capacity <laughs> of the Sun Country trailer? Well, I like, I like your answer. So tell us your answer again. Um, it just, it really depends on what your business model is. Um, it depends. Whoa. So you take the time to actually find out what people's business strategy or model or plan is before you sell them a tra trailer? Absolutely. That's the way Brian taught me. Wow. I like the way Brian rolls. Good. Smart. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, and that's, that's part of the service that uh, is imperative that we offer to the customer is finding out not only what truck do they have, because uh, that's part of the equation, but understanding what their business model is looking for. Uh, we want to be able to match them up with the proper trailer that's going to do the job uh, co as cost effective as possible possible for them, but more, but most importantly, what the safest option is based on what they're looking to haul. Yeah. So do people generally know the answer to your questions? Uh, sometimes they do, but a lot of times they don't <clears throat> uh, because what, what we find, especially in newcomers coming into the business is a lot of times they have a truck uh, and heck, sometimes it's even their personal truck and they're looking to put it to work. So while we have many, many customers that are seasoned auto hauler experts, we, we, we have our fair share of customers who are introductory into auto hauling. And, uh, and by being able to talk to them and, under, and understand, A, what equipment they have, and B, what they're gonna be looking to haul, uh, we can help them back into what's gonna be right for them, what's gonna be safe, safe for them, and what's feasible. Wow. Or, or well, even that's... I find what they might not know, they don't know. And that's one of the reasons that you and Jay intrigued me, Ty, is because there's a lot of times I'm referring people to their nearest trucking association, their local trucking association, because where do you start? Mm. Who's gonna sit there and help you figure out what you need? Who's gonna tell you what you don't know? Who's willing to, who's willing so, to take I mean, the Brian hits and, and tell have you? Had this conversation oh. how many times do you think, Brian? about trying to help people figure out how to get their business started. Oh, we have it often, but uh, that's what, uh, it's funny because if you think back over the years and you think about some of the relationships that are started by spending time with the customers, answering questions, helping to, uh, to inform them and to educate them, some of those customers are now our best customers today. Absolutely. Customers, mm. And it's also, it's a testament to watching them grow, not only their fleet, but their business and many times their trucks and their equipment as well. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's huge. And <clears throat> I'm glad that you guys said that because I think that's important for our audience to know, you know, before you go out and spend any money on a trailer, you might want to do some homework, maybe. Know how long you well, need to have your DOT number, need to know how, you know, what the uh, regulations are in the States that you're going in. I mean, there's a lot of things out there that right. make it complicated for a trucker, let alone an auto hauler. I mean, we've got, a, our clients have a, a special um, complication. <laughs> uh, you're, you're moving people's personal stuff. I mean. Well, and I, I, I wanna add to, I know like, you know, we, we get constantly reminded that, okay, well maybe we're pointing out too much negative stuff um, well, there just there's so much to know. Well, and it's, yeah, we're not trying endless. to be pessimistic. Yes, we're we're trying to help you because we want you to make money. That's that's how you come back, and you know, after you as you're building your fleet, that's how you recommend us to your friends. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, if, if you're not making money or if you're broken down every other week, that's, that's definitely not something you're going to share in a positive light. Right. No. And on top of that, um, you know, the other thing, Ty, to answer your question, we build a car hauler a day. So we see car haulers leave every single day, all day, every week. And what we can't lose sight of is some of our customers, you know, that a lot of them, they've been waiting months, if not years to purchase this particular car hauler. They have a need, they have a use and they have a business uh, program behind it. And so while it's sometimes, you know, we, we, we don't want to lose track of that because we're building, you know, watching car haulers come and go every single day for our customer, in some cases, they've been waiting years for this car hauler. And uh, this is really, really exciting for us and it's important for us. And uh, we never want to lose sight of that. Yeah. Well, and that you guys make a quality trailer. I've had two over the years. Love them. Best thing I ever had. But uh, I think, I just think it's, it's very <clears throat> admirable that you guys do take the time to talk to people to get to, you're not just here pushing steel. You're helping people become aware and then providing them with a great trailer. By the way, I got a quick question. On your three car trailers, do they have the uh, manual pull out ramps or do you have a hydraulic lever on your three car trailers? Uh, on our three car hauler, uh, depends what style it is, but generally on, on, on the electric brake trailers, while we do standard is the manual pull out ramps, but we, we have options to uh, go to not just take the standard steel ramps, but we have a nice aluminum option that uh, have the capacity of, of carrying 5,000 pounds per axle. Oh, and by the way, they're half the weight of, uh, of the steel yeah. ramps. The only thing <laughs> yeah. I want to point out is uh, security with those aluminum ramps. They tend to grow legs. Uh, <clears throat> so always making sure customers understand totally. that um, whether it's even if it's just a small bike lock, something to keep the honest honest. And, uh, and make sure that those ramps are there at their next stop uh, when they're getting ready to load or unload. Because I can't tell you how many times we've had people call and doggone it, they're not missing two ramps, they're only missing one. Uh, yeah. And so it's difficult to, to load and unload car. Yeah, and, and, and we can order them by the pair because we have them custom made. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one a couple times. Yeah. Um, I wanted to read a couple of. It's terrible. No, oh, I know. It's, it, it, it's, it's just terrible all the way around. Yeah. Oh, nobody's happy. Yes. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> awful. Um, Mike Nikoff, he says, yeah. you know, he's a, he's a, uh, he's kind of a dispatcher, runs a company. He's got, he's got a, a, a fleet he works with. He runs five of the five car trailers, three tandem Ooh. and two single axle. And he awesome. couldn't be happier. He switched over from Stingers. Versatile is an understatement, yeah. to say the least. Ah, so, we love that. Yeah, That's he, awesome. he's really happy. Uh, let me read another one here. And uh, let me do this. Uh, yeah, I think there were a couple of questions we wanted yeah, to go back exactly. to. Yeah, exactly. All right. And I wanted to hold off. Okay, so Phoenix Bro 1 asked, he's got two big questions. Does Sun Country have enclosed trailers? No. Right. I and I knew that was the answer to that one. I wanted to hold on, but we wanted to answer that Phoenix Bro. So the answer is Sun Country does not have enclosed trailers. Our specialty is open steel. Mm. Um we don't have the tooling for enclosed. Um things can change, but probably not in the near future. Okay. And I do have a hookup though, so we can talk later. Oh nice. Okay, that's cool. Um, so if, in fact, so on that, if, if he wants to get specific, then he can email me or you can, you, yep. can you be emailed? Yeah, absolutely. I'd yeah. be happy to help him. Mm -hmm. What's the email address since we're here now talking about it. What's a good email address that he can a email you? Email address for getting a hold of us is info at suncountrytrailers.com. Sun country trailers.com all right and then the next thing would be he says he gets he nice he gets uh, a little specific here some trailer manufacturers swear by channel iron some i-beam and you with rectangular tube for frame construction which 
he he also agrees is the best. How how do you guys chime in on what you're using as your materials? Well, tubular steel is is our primary frame. Uh, reason being uh, is it does offer unparalleled uh, strength, but also uh, we have great access to tubular steel through mills. We buy directly from the tube mill, uh, and they'll roll sizes and specifics just for us uh, that we're looking to utilize in the construction of our various trailers. Additionally, Jay, uh, one of the things we, we do is we run our wiring harnesses as well as our airlines, uh, ABS lines and everything in the, in the tube from the front of the trailer back to the components, whether that be the ABS sensor kit, uh, the various lights, and we feel like that's a good housing, a safe housing uh, to keep all the lighting, the components in the airlines. So uh, it's not only structural that we're, in, that, that, that we're concerned about, but it also allows us to uh, run all the things that, uh, that keep the trailer running in a safe, safe compartments um, where they're still accessible. Uh, we, have com we have areas where they're accessible and things like heat uh, and debris uh, can't get at them. You know, I'm glad you said that. I wanted to ask you, Brian, um, because we know Aliza is she's in marketing and she also uh, does sales support. But Brian, what's what's your title at Sun Country Trailers? So I'm the president of Sun Country Trailers. President so of wow. uh, operations and marketing and sales as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. And so and you're here with us. The president of Sun Country Trailers is yeah. here live with us tonight. And that is amazing. Right? He's well, thank you, Jay. When I heard we were talking about uh, master. car haulers today, I, yeah, I, I didn't want to miss it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man. So tell, what's your day? What are your days like? I mean, you're you're right in the middle of all of this. And how long have you been there? Well, I've been with Sun Country uh, for the last 12 years. Uh, and we were relatively small. Uh, that was good. That was going back to 2007. Uh, we were a small shop in central Phoenix. And, uh, and that was right before uh, things, were, things were going along at the beginning in 07, but I don't need to tell anybody what happened in 08 and 09, and things got a little bit slow. Uh, but uh, that's what allowed us that downtime, a couple of years where, where there wasn't yeah. anything happening. It allowed us to develop some new products and take advantage of, uh, of that opportunity, which some of those products today, like our five-car carrier is our most popular product out the door today. That was developed during the downturn because we had the time to do it. We had time uh, with our employees uh, and mm -hmm. customers to garner feedback and uh, and look at building new products. So so my day uh, consists of, uh, obviously we, we have a lot of employees. We have, uh, well, uh, about 91 employees. I don't even know anymore. Mm -hmm. Is there more than <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't we're know. We're in the shop, so I spend a lot of time in the shop because that's what fascinates me. Right. There's nothing better the a truckload of material, especially 40 foot to come in and see it transform into product that's going out the door. And that's what I was to spend a lot of time in the shop, uh, but also uh, as well as uh, our office, because we not only have marketing events in the office uh, and marketing programs we're working on, uh, but we have two channels of sales. We have a dealer channel which uh, we have dealers throughout the country, wonderful dealers like Bailey Truck and Trailer in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, Tech Equipment in Portland, Oregon. Uh, many of you may know uh, Jake at North American Truck and Trailer Sales. We have Southern California Tow Equipment and even up in Alberta, Canada. So we spend a lot of time with our customers um, and we spend a lot of time helping our customers understand our product so that they can better sell it, better represent it. And we spend a lot of time behind the scenes with our, with our dealers as well, uh, helping them with sales and, and product specs. So uh, in a snapshot, um, you know, kind of that's the day at Sun Country Trailers. There's no place I'd rather be. Um, it's, a, it, it's a wonderful place to do business. We're, we're thrilled to be here in Phoenix, uh, mm -hmm. where I know what Lisa had mentioned, you know, we, we, we love for people to stop by and we really do. We're, we're situated three miles uh, just south of Interstate 10. Uh, Interstate 10, obviously a major traffic road going east to west, in and out of Southern California. And we encourage people to stop by, come see us. We've always got product on the ground from a three car, four car, five car. But more importantly, we're always available for parts and service if you need it as well. 